A dream and a dilemma. Can you really live the dream in the Philippines? Picture this. Pristine beaches, lush landscapes, the warm embrace of Filipino hospitality. The Philippines beckons with the promise of an idyllic life. But can you really live the dream without breaking the bank? The allure of the Philippines is undeniable, especially for expats and dreamers seeking a slice of paradise. However, navigating the financial realities of living in a developing country is crucial. Financial success in the Philippines, like anywhere else, demands a blend of savvy planning and careful spending. This is where our two protagonists come in, the girl on the couch and the man in finance. The girl on the couch represents a laid-back, go-with-the-flow approach to life. The man in finance, on the other hand, embodies a strategic, numbers-driven mindset. Together, they'll guide you through the maze of financial tips and tricks, helping you achieve financial success and independence in the heart of the Philippines. So, buckle up and get ready for a crash course in Philippine peso wisdom. Meet the girl on the couch and the man in finance. The girl on the couch is a master of stretching a peso. She's all about finding joy in the simple things, a good book, the company of friends, and of course a comfy couch. Her philosophy? Live in the moment, but don't forget to save for a rainy day. Yeah, I believe in enjoying life as it comes. But hey, a little saving never hurt anyone, right? The man in finance, however, thrives on spreadsheets and investment strategies. He believes in planning for the future, maximizing every peso, and building a secure financial foundation. He lives by the motto, invest in yourself. It pays the best interest. Absolutely, planning and investing are key. Every peso should work for you, not the other way around. Despite their contrasting approaches, both agree on one thing. Financial success in the Philippines is achievable with the right mindset and a sprinkle of financial literacy. Think of them as your financial yin and yang, offering balanced perspectives on navigating the Philippine financial landscape. Whether you resonate more with the carefree spirit of the girl on the couch or the calculated approach of the man in finance, their combined wisdom will equip you with the tools to thrive. The Philippine Peso, Pinch Cost of Living Realities Let's face it, living in paradise doesn't always come cheap. While the Philippines boasts a lower cost of living compared to many Western countries, it's essential to have a realistic understanding of expenses. The cost of living in the Philippines can vary significantly depending on your lifestyle and location. Major cities like Manila and Cebu tend to be more expensive than smaller towns or rural areas. On average, a comfortable lifestyle for a single individual in a major city can range from $800 to $1,500 per month. This includes rent, utilities, food, transportation, and entertainment. For couples or families, this figure can easily double or triple depending on factors like housing size, education costs, and healthcare needs. It's crucial to factor in these costs when planning your budget and lifestyle in the Philippines. Living on $2,000 a month in paradise, is it possible? The million peso question, can you live comfortably in the Philippines on $2,000 a month? The answer, like most things in life, is, it depends. For those accustomed to a lavish lifestyle in their home countries, $2,000 might seem limiting. However, with careful budgeting and a willingness to embrace local living, it's possible to enjoy a fulfilling life in the Philippines on this budget. The key is to prioritize. Housing, for instance, can eat up a significant chunk of your budget, especially in city centers. Opting for a more modest apartment in a less central location can free up funds for other expenses. Similarly, embracing local cuisine, utilizing public transportation, and exploring free or low-cost entertainment options can help you stretch your budget further. Remember, it's all about finding a balance between enjoying the perks of Philippine life and living within your means. Budgeting 101, your blueprint to financial freedom. Budgeting might sound about as appealing as a tooth extraction, but trust us, it's the cornerstone of financial success. Think of it as your financial GPS, guiding you towards your financial goals. The girl on the couch recommends the 50 slash 30 slash 20 rule. Allocate 50% of your income to needs, rent, utilities, groceries, 30% to wants, dining out, entertainment, travel, and 20% to savings and debt repayment. The man in finance, ever the strategist, suggests using budgeting apps or spreadsheets to track your income and expenses meticulously. This allows you to identify areas where you can cut back and redirect funds towards your financial goals. Whichever method resonates with you, the key is to be consistent and realistic. Don't be afraid to adjust your budget as needed and celebrate small victories along the way. 
Remember, every peso saved is a step towards financial freedom. Financial literacy, your secret weapon to wealth. In the Philippines, financial literacy is not just a skill, it's a superpower. It empowers you to make informed decisions about your money, avoid common financial pitfalls, and build a secure financial future. The girl on the couch believes in simplifying finance. She recommends starting with the basics, understanding your income, tracking your expenses, and learning about different savings and investment options. The man in finance, on the other hand, advocates for continuous learning. He suggests reading personal finance books, attending seminars, and staying updated on financial news and trends. Remember, financial literacy is a journey, not a destination. By continuously expanding your knowledge and skills, you'll be better equipped to navigate the complexities of personal finance and make sound financial decisions. Love and money navigating the minefield. Ah, love and money. Two things that can either make or break a relationship. In the Philippines, where family ties run deep and generosity is highly valued, navigating the intersection of personal relationships and finance requires finesse. The girl on the couch recommends open and honest communication. Talk to your partner about your financial goals, spending habits, and any debts or financial obligations you may have. The man in finance suggests setting clear financial boundaries. This could involve establishing separate accounts, creating a joint budget, or deciding on a spending limit for individual purchases. Remember, transparency and mutual respect are key to maintaining healthy financial dynamics in any relationship. By addressing financial matters head-on, you can prevent misunderstandings and build a stronger foundation for your relationship. Social media and your wallet friends or foes. In the age of social media, it's easy to get caught up in the comparison game. From lavish vacations to designer handbags, it seems like everyone is living their best life. Or are they? The girl on the couch cautions against falling into the trap of social media consumerism. Remember, what you see online is often a curated version of reality. The man in finance sees social media as a double-edged sword. While it can fuel unnecessary spending, it can also be a valuable tool for financial education and inspiration. The key is to be mindful of your social media consumption. Unfollow accounts that trigger unhealthy spending habits and seek out those that align with your financial goals. Remember, your financial journey is your own. Focus on what truly matters to you and tune out the noise. Investing in your future baby steps to big returns. Investing might seem daunting, especially for beginners. But remember, you don't need to be a Wall Street whiz to start growing your money. The girl on the couch recommends starting small. Even setting aside a small amount each month in a high-yield savings account is a step in the right direction. The man in finance, ever the advocate for long-term growth, suggests exploring investment options like mutual funds or index funds. These offer diversification and the potential for long-term capital appreciation. Before diving into any investment, it's crucial to do your research, understand the risks involved, and if needed, consult with a financial advisor. Remember, investing is a marathon, not a sprint. Start small, stay consistent, and watch your money grow over time. Finding your financial sweet spot. Enjoy today, secure tomorrow. Financial success is not about depriving yourself of all joys in life. It's about finding a balance between enjoying the present and securing your future. The girl on the couch believes in the power of guilt-free spending. Set aside a portion of your budget for things you enjoy, whether it's trying new restaurants, traveling, or indulging in your hobbies. The man in finance, ever the pragmatist, reminds us that every peso spent today is a peso not invested for tomorrow. He suggests setting clear financial goals and creating a plan to achieve them. Remember, financial planning is not one size fits all. It's about designing a life that aligns with your values, priorities, and aspirations. By finding your financial sweet spot, you can enjoy the best of both worlds, living in the moment and building a secure financial future. Join the conversation, share your Philippine peso wisdom. There you have it, a crash course in Philippine peso wisdom from the girl on the couch and the man in finance. Remember, financial success is a journey, not a destination. It's about making conscious choices, developing healthy financial habits, and staying true to your goals. Now, we want to hear from you. What are your biggest financial challenges in the Philippines? Do you have any tips or tricks for stretching your pesos? Share your experiences and insights in the comments below and let's learn from each other. After all, the best financial advice often comes from real life experiences and shared wisdom. Let's build a community of financially savvy individuals supporting each other on our journeys to financial success in the beautiful Philippines.